Make up. What foundation do you use? Um, God, it varies. For every day, I just use my Studio Fix powder. If I don't use this, um, I use my MSF, my MSF Natural, this thing. Um, how about concealer? I use two different ones. I use my Studio Moisture Cover, Select Moisture Cover, hello. This is my favorite, 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 favorite under eye concealer ever. And so I try a new one that I like, this is going to be it. This has been my favorite for about three or four years. And then I also use the Benefit Boing in shade 3 for like blemishes and stuff, random stuff. Great coverage on that one. Um, do you know what your undertone color is? Oh, uh, I have warm undertones. Warm golden. Um... Not cool at all, as you can tell. I'm extremely tan. What do you think of fake lashes? I love them. Want to know how much I love them? This is how much I love them. <laughs> That's not even half of it. I have like backups in my backup drawer. Um, I love fake lashes. I don't use them every day. I think they're just good to like give a little oomph to a look. Um, they're quite optional. For me, the reason why I like them is because I have short, stick straight lashes. So when I go clubbing or when I'm at a photo shoot, they just look better. But for a daily basis, no, I think that's doing too much. Some people need it though. So if you need it, more power to you. Um, do you know that you are supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yes, I do, but do I do it? No. What brand mascara do you use? Um, I typically use a Makeup Forever Smoky Lash. Looks like this. My tried and true favorite drugstore mascara ever is my Lash Blash Lash Blast Waterproof. <laughs> um, Sephora or Mac? Really? That's a fucked up question to ask. Do you have a Mac Pro card? I am awaiting my application to be approved. Uh, what makeup tools do you use in makeup application? Oh my god, okay. Well, I can't really go through it, but there's like a row of brushes next to me. So honestly, because I started out with Mac, I just typically collect Mac brushes. I have a couple Sonia Kashuk. I have um, some Sigmas. Um, do you use a makeup base primer for the eyes? Yeah, of course. Um, it's either going to be a paint pot, a Mac paint pot like this. You guys know what this looks like, right? I don't have to open it because it's going to be a pain in the ass to open it. Um, and then my Urban Decay Primer Potion. Here's a small bottle of what it looks like. It's obviously taller than this. <laughs> but I depotted mine because there was so much crap left in the other one. Look how much is left in there. Look at that. Do you see all that shit? Yeah. That's what happens when you don't dig and when the packaging is a piece of shit. So, um, note to Urban Decay, please change your packaging. I don't care if it's aesthetically pleasing, it's a pain in the ass. Let's see, for the face, yes I do. I use my Makeup Forever, which I can't find. I may use the Makeup Forever HD. Um, this is probably the best one ever, by the way. What is your favorite eyeshadow? Oh my god, don't even go there. Not, no, I'm not answering that. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Nope. No, not gonna happen. Um, do you use pencil or liquid liner? I use both. Um, I typically use gel or cream more. I've been using my Clinique a lot, actually. This is a cream for those of you who are asking, like, what's the difference between this and the MAC one, if there's a comparison. Not really, but the formula is different. This one's a cream, that one's a gel. So this is what the cream one looks like. I've been kind of picking at it. I've been using this for, like, oh god, more than a month. I barely made a dent. So that's kind of cool because the packaging seems super small. How often do you pork, poke pork? Hello. Do you poke your eyes with an eyeliner pencil? Um, never. What do you think of pigment eyeshadows? I love them. I have quite a few. I have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve ish. And then I have like random loose pigment shadows from like hot doll eyes and random places. Um, I like them. So, I don't mind that they're loose. Some of them have fallout, but that's what loose powder is for under your eyes. So, Do you use mineral makeup? No, not like I used to. I used to be tried and true bare essentials because it was really good for my skin, and then it started to itch. So I don't use it anymore. And then I use the Bare Minerals Matte every now and then. Um, very rarely though, but it, it's it's nice. I like it. It's not, I don't mind. What is your favorite lipstick? Really? Really? Um, That one's hard. I have a lot. Fuck. 
Um, for those of you who have been watching me for a minute, though, you know Diva is like the shit for me, right? Diva from MAC. Um, my favorite lipsticks change a lot, though. So it's either going to be Diva from MAC um, or Show Orchid. This is my favorite pink ever in life. I used to love Girl About Town, but this one is the shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This one, like kind of beats Girl About Town just a little bit for me. I also like Viva Glam too for nude colors. And lately I've been liking this one a lot. Um, this came from the All Races, All Sexes Whatever collection, and this is myself. I've been loving this one lately. This is a great everyday color. Love this one. But those are all my MAC ones. I have other favorites like in other brands, like I love L'Oreal's Ferris Nude. This one right here. I need to get another one because that shit melted. <laughs> um, I also love NYX's Talia, which thank you, Jerlyn, for giving me a backup. This is Talia. It's like a nice plummy nude, kind of. Um, I don't know, yeah, but for all-time favorite lipstick, it's probably going to be Show Orchid. It used to be Diva. Now it's Show Orchid. What is your favorite blush to use? Oh, fuck. Um, that's hard, too. For real. I don't really have a favorite blush though. I'm sorry. There's just too many to choose. Uh, do you buy your makeup on eBay? I have before and yes, it was legit. Um, do you like drugstore makeup? Yes, I do. Um, particularly Maybelline, Revlon, and L'Oreal. you go to CCOs? Yes, I do. Sorry. That was my brother. <laughs> um... Do you ever go to CCOs? Yes, there are three in my area in Northern California. Um, there's one in Vacaville, which sucks, FYI. I fucking hate the one in Vacaville. But I found a lot of my good stuff there, so I can't really hate. Um, Gilroy is probably the best one in Northern California. Um, and Napa um, has good pigments. Yeah, so for those of you in the Northern California area. Um, do you ever consider taking makeup classes? I have, and they're pretty fun. Um, I've taken the MAC classes, I've taken um, a couple shadow classes at Paul Mitchell. Um, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's different. Some of the stuff that I learned, since it was beginner stuff, like it was kind of stuff that I already knew. Um, but they do good when they teach you like what, what you need to learn and like why they do it. You know, like, oh, you apply your makeup this way to blah, blah, blah. Like, you know what I mean? They have that kind of stuff. So it's good for beginners, in my opinion. Um, it's also good for those who are still learning because you learn new techniques. So, yeah. While you're learning that stuff, too, you start learning how to, like, do it your own way. And, like, how to do it to your your own face. Are you clumsy in putting on makeup? No. Well, not putting it on, but using it. Like, you can't see it, but there's, like, a spot down there on my fucking carpet where I spilled a pigment. <laughs> So, yeah, I get clumsy like that. Like, I spill shit. You guys know. You see me in my videos. I spill shit all the time. Name a makeup crime that you hate. Not fucking taking your makeup off when you go to sleep. When your fucking brows... Um, there's a difference between bitch brows and fake fucking, like brows like you know where the bitch looks like she's like this all the time oh when a bitch has that face the ma the mask oh my god that's so annoying so annoying when i see like a block of fucking color on your eye like blend your shit okay like seriously can can i just there you go um do you like colorful shades of makeup obviously i like neutral too for like everyday stuff like i don't wear this shit every day so, yeah. Which celebrity always has great makeup? Um, Kim Kardashian. <laughs> Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Kim Kardashian. Um, sometimes Rihanna, but sometimes she's had fails, but Rihanna would be second. Um, if you could leave the house with just one makeup item, what would you use? My brow stuff. I mean, okay, I take that back. I could leave the house with my brows because they don't look that fucked up when I don't have makeup so I can't really say my brows I guess but but I would say that if I had to choose something to be done before I left it would be my brows but I don't have to um so maybe eyeliner no not even eyeliner I don't know I don't care because I can walk out of the house without makeup and feel comfortable so I don't know gotta think about that one 
Uh, maybe chapstick if that counts. <laughs> Could you ever leave the house without? Yeah, I can leave the house without makeup on. Do you think you look good even without makeup on? I think so. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and be like, I look good. You know what I mean? I mean, everybody has their own opinions. <laughs> um, I look like I'm 12. I look hella fucking young without makeup. I don't know if you guys saw my Revlon Color Stay application. I look fucking young. <laughs> I look hella fucking I don't look my age at all. Um, but I'm comfortable without it. Like, I don't really care. I actually, it's, I put it on for my own personal preference. Um, in your opinion, what is the best makeup line? I know. Just like you asked me if Sephora and MAC was good, I'm not gonna go there. What do I think of makeup? Really? <laughs> no, I fucking hate it! Okay, well that's all. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!